Welcome everyone. The Red Clay Consolidated School District is proud to bring you a very special graduation ceremony celebrating Alexis I. DuPont High School's Class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, members of the Red Clay community, welcome. My name is Kevin Paladinetti and I am the principal of Alexis I. DuPont High School. Over time, there have been many firsts. Did you know that in 1839 the first selfie was captured? The first cell phone was invented in 1973. It only held a charge for 30 minutes and it would take 10 hours to recharge. And of course, everyone knows that in 1969, Neil Armstrong was the first person to walk on the moon, a giant leap for mankind to say the least. Like the aforementioned list, we are proud to bring you another first, the first ever virtual graduation ceremony for Alexis I. DuPont High School, a historic week for the Red Clay Consolidated School District, and more importantly, a historic event for the graduates from Hillside Road. So thank you for being here with us as we celebrate and honor our students. Sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the show. Hello, AI class of 2020. On behalf of the Red Clay Consolidated School District, members of the school board, district leadership, staff, and educators, we say thank you. As we celebrate this milestone in your lives during this unconventional time and in this unconventional manner, we thank you for the sacrifice this class of graduates were born into. You're the graduating class that was born post 9-11, and now you're the graduating class during COVID-19. I'll be brief in my remarks because we are here to celebrate and recognize this milestone in your lives. I recently came across a quote by Robert Frost that simply states, the best way out is through. The class of 2020 has been through, currently going through, and will continue to go through challenging times. We often associate 2020 with vision. However, for many of our parents and grandparents, we remember it as a TV show hosted by Barbara Walters. But 2020 has a lot of significance and meanings when, it come, when you come to think of it. Someone with 2020 vision can see where others can't. 2020 represents your visual acuity, which refers to distance and size. You have come a long way and the magnitude of the challenges you will face may feel overwhelming, but the class of 2020 represents so much more. It's a matter of perspective. In the midst of this difficult time, what you do and how you see the class of 2020 is a matter of perspective. You hold the pen as you write your own narrative. Vision is the act of power which gives direction to our lives to make our goals and dreams a reality. A vision is not the same as goals or objectives, however. Those come from the head. A vision comes from the heart. You are the class with heart. Class of 2020 has routinely demonstrated both in school and throughout our community, through tough times and through celebratory moments that you lead with heart. Tiger Pride is who you are and what you represent. 
Having the opportunity to see senior leaders such as Azeem Bell become state champion or Tiger Girls basketball senior Michaela Carter lead the Lady Tigers to the first conference title in 17 years is leading with heart. Seeing student voice through soapbox challenge opportunities and the BSU pep rally shows the culture and the heart of Tiger Pride. Vision shows us where we're headed. What is your true north? Don't stop dreaming. Vision provides motivation and inspires us. Your brilliance and thirst for life is inspiring to others. Vision helps to keep moving forward and move through obstacles. You make mistakes, but continue to be the risk takers that you are. Vision provides focus. Be smart about living your dreams and surround yourself with the support system that will keep you focused. Vision gives us purpose and meaning to what we do. Know that you matter. Walk boldly into the future, although you may feel scared and full of uncertainty, you are the class of 2020. You see things that others don't see. And in these trying times, there are expectations that you will help lead our state, nation, and world with heart, passion, and determination. Just remember this class of 2020, you are the class that holds the vision to the future and the class that has captured our hearts. We love and salute you. We wish you the best in all that you do and always know that you have a home here in Red Clay. Congratulations. Seniors, I am Secretary of Education Susan Bunting, and I want to congratulate you on earning your diplomas. I know this wasn't the senior year that you envisioned. Your families and communities are facing challenges. You may know someone who is ill or who has died because of COVID-19. You may know someone who has lost his or her job or is struggling to put food on the table because of lost income. Our nation and state are facing great losses right now. As serious as those challenges are, they don't trivialize your own disappointment. You have reason to feel upset about the missed spring sports season, musicals, concerts, and proms. You wanted to finish your senior year in the class with your teachers and your friends. You wanted to walk across the stage of Bob Carpenter Center or your high school stadium to receive your diploma and hear the well-deserved applause of the thousands that were there to cheer you on. You earned that. While your disappointment is real and you may briefly grieve for those lost plans, recognize that your class will be an historic one. The class of 2020 will be remembered not for what it couldn't have, but for what it overcame. Your leadership, creativity, and resilience will be long commended. As school buildings closed, you continued to remotely learn, either at your kitchen table or your home desk. This forced you to think differently, often work more independently, and manage your time in new ways. All of these are skills that will serve you well in college, the military, and in your career. Some of you balanced your own studies while supporting younger siblings. Some of you continued working part-time jobs, putting yourselves on the line in this crisis to benefit others. Some of you went to work to support our first responders using your 3D printers to make face guards or sewing face coverings to the, for those in need. Adults who don't know teens well often quickly judge your generation. During this crisis, the class of 2020 certainly has proven those stereotypes wrong. You have worked hard when it would have been easy to give up. You finished your studies, met your goals, and are now ready to support your families and communities in new ways. We need people like you right now. We need people who can move past their own disappointments 
to work hard, take risks, and persevere for the good of the community. Your school leaders are planning activities to mark your accomplishments this spring in ways that are safe for you and your families and give you the recognition that you, the members of the class of 2020, truly deserve. I am sincerely proud of each of you and emphasize that each of you is here for a special purpose. Our Buckminster Fuller once professed, and I quote, never forget that you are one of a kind and never forget, no matter how overwhelming life's challenges and problems seem to be, that one person can make a difference in the world. In fact, it is always because of one person that all the changes in them that really matter in the world come about. So be that person. Seniors, you are a special class, one that none of us will ever forget. I reiterate my congratulations on your achievements to date, wish you the best in the future, and challenge you as you go out into the world to use your talents and resolve to dream big and make a difference. Congratulations to the A.I. DuPont Tigers, class of 2020. Hi, I'm U.S. Senator Chris Coons, and I just want to congratulate you on everything that you've accomplished in high school. Thank you to your parents, to your friends, to your family, to all those who sustained and supported you in your hard work, your learning, and your excellence at A.I. DuPont High School. And I also want to extend my thanks to the faculty and the staff who helped adapt to this novel circumstance and pulled together this virtual graduation. I have confidence that what you've learned at AI High School will give you a strong foundation, a foundation that'll allow you to stand up and endure through this and all of life's challenges. So know how proud I am of you and know that I join with so many others in wishing you a great future and congratulations on your commencement.
Hi, this is Governor John Carney. I wanted to take this time to address the entire class of 2020. Normally, I would be giving a graduation speech like this in a large venue like a football stadium, an auditorium, or a gymnasium. I know this is not the way many of you wanted your senior year to end, but I'm confident that the class of 2020 will be one of the most resilient graduating classes in the history of our state. No doubt we are experiencing a situation like no other in our state, across our country, and throughout the world. The changes to our routines and the disruption of our daily lives has not been easy, and we've had to make different memories than the ones we expected. The experiences and knowledge you've gained over the last four years will help you adjust to the new normal. You are armed with the skills you'll need to succeed as you continue your education or enter into the workforce. And more than ever, you're equipped with the ability to work through new challenges that you will encounter along the way. We've never needed more problem solvers and innovators than we do now, and I'm confident that the class of 2020 will rise to the occasion. Though we are celebrating this milestone virtually, let's not forget the importance of graduation. Your hard work and dedication have paid off as you make this important step into the next chapter of your lives. I look forward to seeing your continued success. I know we'll get through this difficult time and that you will help lead us to a stronger future. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and good luck to each and every one of you. Welcome family, friends, and class of 2020. My name is Jared Witt, and I was asked to give this speech on behalf of the class of 2020. The last four years are something that most of us will never forget. Whether it's your friends and classmates, or your favorite teacher, or member of the administrative team who really made an impact on you during this time of your life. As we have been told for so many years now, this is a time of our lives. I know I never really thought anything about it until the last three months where we've lost so many of those last special moments of high school. This time has made me realize the importance of the little things, such as Cape House endless announcements and weather reports. Or Mr. Cressy yelling, hall sweep, or put your hood down in the halls. The world has changed so much in our four years at AI. We were only a couple months into the freshman year when President Trump was elected. The summer of that same year, we lost someone who meant so much to everyone in the AI community, Mr. Hogan, who left us with the message to do the right thing no matter what. During our four years at AI, we have lived through some of the scariest and most difficult times in America. We lost many sports legends and role models such as Muhammad Ali, Roy Holiday, and most recently Kobe Bryant. 
And in the last three months of our senior year, the COVID-19 pandemic that has led to the highest unemployment rate and has changed life as we know it. But all this happened for a reason. Because of everything that we faced in our four years of high school, there is no doubt in my mind that the class of 2020 is the strongest class and we can conquer anything put in front of us. We've had many memories here at AI from seeing Cressy and K-Pow get pie in the face, the success of our sports teams, dressing crazy for spirit weeks, the first of many Hogan weeks, the first NHS Spring Fest, and so many more great memories. The last four years have changed us in many good ways and even some bad. But we will always have the time that we spent together in the classroom, at sporting events, and on different field trips, showing what AI is all about. The recent hard times has shown us that we are all a family and has really shown us what AI teaches their students, and that is to stand upright and endure. The class of 2020 will remember it forever, not only for the pandemic, but what we will accomplish in the future, the new products and companies we will create, the pro people that we work alongside of, and the good we will put in the world as leaders. Class of 2020, remember, once a tiger, always a tiger. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We did it. And remember, you cannot hide that tiger pride. Thank you. of 2020. My name is Talia Collier and as this year's valedictorian, it is such an honor to deliver this year's commencement speech to my principal, all of the teachers, staff, parents, families, and most importantly, the class, my class, Alexis I. DuPont High School's class of 2020. I wanted to start by saying thank you to everyone who has supported me along my journey and stood by my side. Your support has been truly immeasurable. We have all been waiting for our graduation day to come for many years. The day where we are all seated in a crowd along with our classmates, eagerly awaiting our name to be called. Walking up to receive our diploma from our principal with our friends and family in the distance cheering us on. And lastly, at the end of the ceremony, tossing our graduation caps into the air as a sense of relief falls upon us with our futures now in arm's reach. But sadly, we are living in a time where we are the first class who will not be able to have a traditional graduation, where we will not be able to go to prom, finish our spring sports, or even be able to spend our last days of high school with our friends by our side. Due to social distancing because of the coronavirus pandemic, we cannot celebrate our graduation the way we have dreamt for so long. However, we still have our futures despite the obstacles presented before us. I believe in the class of 2020 to persevere in the face of adversity with strength and determination. And with this, I have a few pieces of advice to give before the next chapter of our lives begin. 
Remember that we are the ones in control of our destiny. Even though we may not have our control over our circumstances, we do have the power to determine how we react to our situations. At a time like now, we must not let our many years of schooling, hard work, and growth go to waste solely because of a new obstacle presented before us. Instead, we have to use this experience as a stepping stone to continue onward in our journey of life. Next, remember that everything takes time and results are not instant. We must work efficiently and be willing to explore new opportunities in order to achieve the goals that we desire. Surround yourself with individuals that love and support you for who you are. We may make mistakes along the way, but the most important lesson is that we learn from them. And always remember that it is never too late to change and that we can make a difference in the world. Through the ups and downs that life brings, remember to strive for peace and balance, to enjoy all of the little moments, and to experience life in the present. Because our life experiences are what makes us who we are. Now, whether or not we have 2020 vision, let's all look towards our future with optimism and hope. With this, I have to congratulate the class of 2020. Thank you. What's going on, class of 2020? It's Quadri Henderson here, AI alum, class of 2015. I want to give a huge congratulations to all of you for graduating this year. Um, I know it's been a tough year for you guys, but you successfully completed this chapter in life. It's time to turn the page and continue the next chapter. Remember, the dream is free, the hustle is sold separately. Tiger Nation for life. What's up, guys? Bilal Nichols here with the Chicago Bears. Um, first and foremost, I just wanted to say congratulations to you guys. Um, you know, I know it's been a long road, um, but, you know, it's always a proud day when you accomplish a life lifelong dream of just, you know, graduating high school. Uh, so I, I just wanted to tell you guys congratulations. And uh, in the near future, I wanted to wish you guys nothing but good luck. And then uh, just just take your time and sit back and really enjoy what you guys just accomplished. Um, you know, a lot of people don't get to graduate high school and, you know, don't ever take it for granted. Um, so be proud of yourselves, enjoy it, and I wish you guys nothing but the best in the near future. Thank you. I am truly honored to be speaking to you today. We started this journey called high school four years ago, and who would have thought our senior year would end up like this? As we have gone through this challenging time, our faculty has reminded us of our school motto, stand upright and endure. After hearing so much of this the past few months, it got me thinking, what does this mean? Let's break it down. Stand upright. To me, this means to face challenges head on. This has been an important the past few months because things, well, haven't not really gone as planned. It has also been relevant our whole high school career. We as individuals have faced different challenges in the past four years with all of us having different experiences. But in the end, we finish all in the same place, here on this stage. Well, virtual stage. The challenges we have faced have taught us how to stand upright and overcome them. This is a lesson that we, as a school, can carry with us to overcome challenges that we face in the future. Endure. To me, this means to keep moving forward toward our goals without stopping. As Margaret Thatcher, the former Prime Minister of England, once said, Look at a day when you are supremely satisfied at the end. It's not a day when you lounge around doing nothing. It is a day that you've had everything to do and you've done it. Being confined to our homes the past few months had allowed us the opportunity to lounge around the house. We did not, however. With endurance, we were able to fill our goal of graduating. Seeing as you are listening to me now, you have stood upright and you have faced your challenges and you have come to endure and kept moving forward. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You have been following the motto, stand upright and endure. And with that, thank you for coming to my TED Talk.
We are just moments away from the presentation of our graduates. But before we do so, I wanted to add some parting words to the young men and women I have come to know and admire over the last four years. Much has been said about what we as a people have done to overcome the hardships brought on by the global pandemic. But I didn't need the coronavirus to tell me what I already knew about you. Long before our school year, your senior year came to an abrupt end. I knew you all to be students that embodied our school motto, stand upright and endure. We honor you today because you refuse to quit. You refuse to take the easy path. In the face of adversity, you stood firm, you overcame, and you won. You see, everyone has a story. My story of determination isn't yours. Conversely, yours isn't your neighbor's. Maybe your personal adversity was successfully passing your multiple AP exams. Perhaps it was completing your graduation requirements by the May 29th deadline. Or perhaps it was defying the statistics of your neighborhood or your own family. Regardless, you are the author writing your own story. And let me repeat that. You are writing your own story. Don't let anyone predetermine your chapters. And rest assured, your story does not end here. Rather, this is just the beginning. You now hold a very important key. While symbolic in nature, this key unlocks your future. What you do with it from this point forward is up to you. But I have some news for you. It doesn't get any easier from here on out. And for those of you that will forge blindly into the unknown, I give you this advice. First, be kind. That's it. Be kind. Because quite honestly, there isn't enough kindness in the world right now. Next, do not be afraid to fail. Winston Churchill said, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts, and continue you must. In other words, you must stand upright and endure. Finally, be thankful. If the pandemic has taught me anything over the last few months, it's that there is plenty to be thankful for. Surely, you should continue to set goals and have hopes and dreams, and you should work hard to achieve them, but never lose sight of how important it is to be thankful for what you have health, family, friends, life. Don't let the distraction of something better, some materialistic possession, blind you to what you already have. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduates of the class of 2020. Matthew Adamchek Joel Adderley Brian Alvarado Savannah Anderson Rocio Ariola Zaragoza Justin Arroyo Santiago Albert Ash Yahalis Aviles Alicia Matthew Berstow Esmeralda Balbuena Juarez Holland Barksdale Andrew Becker Anna Badoya Kyle Belford Azim Bell Seja Bello Logan Benedetto Maria Bernal Jakai Bishop Naya Boger Gabrielle Brellahan Hannah Brickley Megan Briggs Giovanni Brown 
Makai Brown. Zachary Brown. Janaja Brown Benjamin. Shaheed Burnett. Tristan Burns. LeVar Butler. Sharon Bird. Amber Camacho. Azucena Canango Torres. Natalie Capellan. Jacob Karish. Yevgeny Carranza Lopez. Evelyn Carrera Linares. Michaela Carter. Nigeria Carter. Shalishka Castro Roman. Anthony Cesario. Talia Collier. Kajan Collins Andrews. Kylie Cologne. Seth Cologne. Ashanta Congo. Wendy Contreras. Rashawn Corsi. Celeste Crary. Dariana Crosby. Gavin Cross. Liliana Cruz Ulerio. Jocelyn Cuevas Castro. Isaiah Dean. Alexa De Clemente. Alyssa Diley. Tiernan DeMello Rice. Devin DeKnight. Caitlin Denisco. Renasia Duval. Juan Diaz. Kendall Dockery. Lillian Dominguez. Cynthia Duarte Mora. Elias Alejandro Duran Lopez. Austin Dyson. Elijah Edmonds. Jaron Enoch. Alba Espinoza. Destiny Evans. Alan Faber. David Farquhar. Mikhail Fawcett. Kelsey Ferguson. Sean Foster. Dorian Francis. Cole Frazier. Owen Fresalone. Serena Fritz. Jose Garcia Colon. Osvaldo Garcia Zaragoza. Joseph Gaddy. Grace Gerber. Taiswan Gibbs. Daniel Godinez Montano. Benny Gomez. Norlis Gonzalez Santiago. Catherine Goris Polanco. Adrian Grant. Trayson Goulet McKinney. Katie Guzman. Jamie Harlack. Elijah Henry. Cameron Hewlett. Isaiah Hicks. 
Makeda Houston. William Howe. Darren Hubschmidt. Jigeria Jackson. Leah Jackson. India Johnson. Alexis Jones. Sierra Jones. Kayla Jones. Zachary Jones. Silas Jacino. Matthew Keen. Daniel Kenny. Luke Knox. Camille Costic. Evelyn Lara. Alexander Lee. Reese Levine. Kaquan Lee. Alexander Lopez. Spirit Lorquette. Allison McGurl. Miguel Maldonado. Samuel Margulies. Aaliyah Marks. Kayla Marrero. Amanda Martinez. Chonsonet Martinez. Leonardo Martinez Perez. Jasmine Matthews. John McDade. Kanasia McDonald. Christopher Melendez. Giovanni Mendez. Angel Mendez Garcia. Jakira Miles. Nasir Miller. Nazair Miller. Brisa Mondragon Nieto. Zion Morales. Daphne Morales Ortega. Isaac Moratin Alonso. Tari Morgan. Anthony Moyer. Timothy Nash. Marez Navarro. Isaiah Nieves. Kayla Obisi. Jessica Oldham. Hector Olivares Garcia. Giovanni Ortiz Alcantara. Marin Padavani. Nyla Paye. Brandon Palette. Anthony Panarello. Tierica Peak. Marley Peden. Ariana Peguero. Noah Pellich. Jennifer Perez. Lily 
Perez. Davro Peters. Aiden Posey. Emily Principe. Ricky Ramos. Thomas Reinhardt. Vanessa Reyes Quinones. Jacqueline Rios. Brukai Robbins. Elijah Robinson. Jose Rodriguez. Roland Rollins. Yaira Rosario. Jennifer Rosas Medina. Izami Rubello. Jorge Rubio. Ignacio Ruiz. Isaac Ruiz. Christian Rulin Crespo. Anaja Salam Hardrick. Elvin Saguero. Anaya Scarmosi. Jacob Schmier. Alasia Selby. Jessica Simpson. Eric Smiley. Kiera Stevens. Victor Stokes. Anayeli Tapia Mendiola. Yosali Tavares. Dominic Tu. Andrew Thompson. Azura Tillman. Charity Tomchak. Christopher Tomchak. Daisy Torres Garcia. Carmen Valladares. Antonio Vasquez. Yomaira Vasquez. Emily Vasquez Juarez. Joseph Verbanis. Jonathan Vergara. Julia Walchak. Nathan Walkinshaw. Zoe Wallace. Destiny Washington. Latiana Washington. Matthew Weingrad. Zalea Wells. Danielle Weil. Jessica Weil. Armando White Moran. Andrew Winslow. Jared Witt. Jader Wright. Siani Younger. Ladies and gentlemen, the names and photos of the young men and women you have just witnessed have in fact met all of their graduation requirements set forth 
by the State of Delaware Department of Education, along with the Red Clay Consolidated School District. To Superintendent Green, it is my pleasure to bestow upon these young men and women the title of graduate. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. I now invite Jared and Talia to join me on screen for the ceremonial turning of the tassel. Thank you.